what's up, YouTube? I'm Quentin Congress, a.k.a. QC. Welcome to another edition of Talking and Grubbing, where I provide the latest sports commentary while eating some good food. And right now, I'm about to take a piece of these delicious chocolate chip cookies. see on the holiday, she's as late to see this holiday season, so go to www.humblebeginners.com that's H-U-M-B-L-E-B-E-G-I-N N-I-N-G-Z dot com I'll leave the link in the description box below <clears throat> okay, Thursday Colin Cowherd on his FS1 radio show in his mind Readjusted the NBA down to 14 teams to where they're in major markets, big cities, because he feels that a lot of NBA players don't want to play in smaller markets like an OKC or Cleveland, which is a middle market, or a Sacramento or a San Antonio, etc. Okay, here's my rebuttal to that. Colin, players don't have to do that anymore. They don't have to be in the big markets anymore. It's not about being in cities. They could go to the city, those cities anytime they want to. They have the money. You know, they can go into off-season hell. Some of them got, you know, off-season houses there. But now, you know, players want to play where they want to win. Look at Philly. Philly's been crappy for the past, what, five or six years? There's, there's no way in hell a free agent is going to Philly. The Knicks, they've been crappy for so long. Even under Phil Jackson's president, nobody's going to New York. Hell, look at Knicks games on TV. A lot of those celebrities there, if you're not Spike Lee, most of them are not there to see the damn game. They're there just to be seen. Same with Laker games. You know, if you're not Jack Nicholson or George Lopez, Ice Cube or Snoop Dogg, nobody's going to those games to watch the Lakers. They just want to be seen. Plus, the Lakers, they've been crappy for so long, no star player wants to go there. I mean, a lot of players aren't built for big cities. Prime example, Dwight Howard, when he was with the Lakers, he wasn't built for that. And, you know, playing in the shadows of legends like Kareem, Will, James Worthy, Shaq, was too much for him. That's why he's not in L.A. right now. LeBron, LeBron, most of his career has been in a small market like Cleveland and more of a mid-sized market like Miami. I don't know why people want, want to keep on pushing Miami as a major market. It's not a major market. Even David Stern has said this when he was commissioner in an interview with Rachel Nichols. Miami is not a huge market as y'all think it is. It's a touristy market, yeah, but it's not a major market like New York, L.A., Chicago, Atlanta, or even D.C. Those cities have more of a major media presence than Miami does. You know, I'm going to take another bite, another piece of this cookie. I have to, y'all. Mm hmm. These some good chocolate chips, too. Y'all definitely, definitely got to go to home beginnings and order some of this stuff. Okay, now, if this was 20, 25, 30 years ago, yeah, a player like LeBron or KD or Russell Westbrook or Steph Curry would have to be in a New York, L.A., Chicago, Boston, or even Philly to get that superstar status or the 
and notoriety or those endorsements. But now, with social media and also, you know, the NBA League Pass, they don't really have to do that. You know, when LeBron was a free agent in 2010, he, you know, a lot of people were saying that he was going to go to New York or go to the Nets, you know, to play under Jay-Z because that was his boy and they were in the process of moving to Brooklyn. He chose Miami. Um, in 2014, when he became a free agent again, people were saying he was going to stay in Miami, or he was going to go to Chicago, or he was going to go to Houston, or L.A. Guess what? He returned to Cleveland. So if LeBron really wanted to be in a big city, he would have done it a long time ago. Nothing was stopping him then, nothing was stopping him now. It's more about players now. Players want to play with great players. Look at J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith has had a career revival in Cleveland of all places. He was He's not built to play in a city like New York because he was getting a lot of trouble all the time in New York. But here in Cleveland, not only he you know, became the three-point shooter that everybody knows and loves, he's also became a pretty damn good defender. And guess what? He ended up with a championship ring. Um, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant was in a very small market for, what, nine years in OKC. Same with Russell Westbrook. You know, he's in a small market, but guess what? TV people will still come to those, you know, T, excuse me, national TV networks will still put those games on TV. And also, Chris Broussard said this best when he was um, talking to Colin Cowherd that a lot of your best NBA t- towns are the ones in smaller markets like Sacramento. They have such a diehard fan base. OKC has one of the loudest arenas in all of the NBA. Um, San Antonio, they are very diehard down there. You know, I love, I've always loved Spurs fans because they remind me of Cleveland fans like myself. They're very passionate about their teams. And it's a shame that they don't have more teams in San Antonio besides the Spurs. But that's another discussion for another day. So, you know, I vehemently disagree with Colin Cowherd's proposed, you know, making the NBA a 14-team league because there's a lot of other cities. There's a lot of those big cities that have racial tensions too, like L.A. There's parts of L.A. that's segregated. Um, Chicago, the Chicago Sun-Times, you know, said Chicago was the biggest, most segregated big city in America. Now, this wasn't no New York Times. This wasn't L.A. Times or CNN. This was its own newspaper saying this. So, dismiss me with, you know, the 14 teams thing because anybody who wants to have a franchise in a city, no matter how big, small, or mid-sized it is, I say, damn it, let them have one. Everybody has the right to enjoy the NBA. Okay, that's my rebuttal for Colin Cowherd. Like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe to the channel, and when you do, Click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you'll know when I upload new videos. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Peace. And I'm about to finish these cookies.